on, on my electricity consumption at home. And the same with, with energy prices like fuel. It's, I still need to spend a certain minimum amount of petrol on getting to work and back every, every day, but I'm definitely, when I'm going out you know, on a trip, I'm definitely staying closer to home rather than going out for a full weekend, say, to the Karoo on a long trip or something. My favorite chocolate is definitely Lindt chocolates. But as we all know, it's a luxury brand that one can really afford when they're a student. So at the moment, Lint is having a special with dark chocolate where it's only 20 rand instead of 30 rand a slab. And um, I've definitely been buying, I've been stocking up on Lint chocolate since that special's been on. Well, when Accessorize has a sale on their products, I go in there and I buy gifts for people's birthdays who are a few months in advance. Otherwise, I don't shop there because I find their prices a bit high. Price is obviously another important variable that influences their demand. We'll use the symbol PX to indicate the price, and later we're going to talk a lot more about the impact of price on the quantity demanded. Using these symbols, we can now say that the demand for fried chicken at any given time is a function of taste and preferences, T, the income of these prospective buyers, Y, and the price of fried chicken pieces, PX. There are other factors, however, that also affect the quantity demanded, such as the number of potential buyers willing to purchase. This is indicated by the symbol N. And then there's the price of related goods, indicated by PG. A special on hamburgers might be so good that you could eat them and have income left over for chicken tomorrow. Or there may be a special where you can get a free soda with pizzas at the place round the corner, so you buy that instead. And there are other factors too, such as the expected prices on a special offer starting tomorrow, or maybe the service at some stores is better than others, and so on. All these other factors are represented by the three dots at the end of the equation. So there it is. The quantity demanded is a function of tastes and preferences, T, Income, Y, the price of the good, PX, the number of potential buyers, N, the price of related goods, PG, and other factors, dot, dot, dot. By now, you know that there are a number of factors that influence demand for a particular good or service. There's taste, income, price, the number of potential buyers, and the price of related goods or services.